genesis of man. Austin, Texas has been a universally recognized oasis of talent. People from around the planet come to create and to be entertained. But the one thing we do best in Austin, Texas is party. Tonight, you'll see some of the finest talent in the universe. From the heart of Texas, Live from the Google Fiber Space in the heart of Austin, Texas, it's the Austin Variety Show 6th Anniversary! With our guest, comedian Ryan Cowney! The music of Ashley Monocle, burlesque by Jetris Hammerback, and one of you will win 100 grand in the FN Game Show! I'm Tom Booker, and now here's your host, the man with the kickstand, the host with the post. Happy sixth anniversary to Troy Dillinger! Before we get to my anniversary, it's a big anniversary. Amy Winehouse cleaned and sober four years this week. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that tonight. There's gonna be a lot. Anyway, six years ago, we started this show. I went, you know what? There's so much great talent that so many people don't get to see. It, uh, it's in danger of going away. Like, somebody's got to do something. Somebody's got to get all these people in front of other people and, and, uh, and let these new Austinites see them and, and make this something really special, because it is, and show everybody how special it is. I've been here since 1975, and uh, who's been here for more than 10 years? Oh, yeah, that's fucking cool. Who's been here for more than 20 years? Yes, okay, so, uh, all right, 30, 40, all right, you and me, you and me, sister, we're doing good over here, though, I know, so here's what we did, tell me if I'm right, when, when new people move here, because almost nobody's from here, but when new people move here, we teach them how to act, and what to do, and what not to do, and we go, eh, don't be a dick, stop using your turn signals, right, you know, like... <laughs> Oh, that's it. This is what we've been doing, and we keep growing and growing, and it's, and it's fun. And if there's ever anything that you have any good ideas or something like that, then um, uh, just send, send me an email. It's um, uh, spam at Austin Variety Show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, uh, so I, I'm just, I'm really proud to be able to stand here and have a room full of people who love Austin and are ready for a good fucking time. That's what. There's shittier ways of making a living. <laughs> Sucking dick for non-recyclable glass <laughs> is a shittier way to make a living. Cause then you have to, you can't even recycle it. It's just. So then you got a mouthful of stuff and all this glass you got to get rid of. Uh, so anyways, hey, the, uh, did you guys hear about the Austin Cobra? The co there was, there's a Cobra, somebody. This is how we're growing. We're growing. We have enough people coming here that people are bringing fucking Cobras from places. And then they're going, hey, fuck it. I'll let them loose. Goon, kick them out. That fucking Cobra. So he killed somebody up in North Austin because that's what you get for living in North Austin. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you move to North Austin, you're gonna have snakes. <laughs> you might have snakes, I don't know. I'm not a cobra, I, just, I do a little yoga. I do a little yoga. <laughs> anyway, so they killed the Austin Cobra, which is amazing, you know. APD, I think, killed him. Uh, like normal, they shot him in the back. Uh, no, 
you know, the thing is, is you know what really killed this cobra? I mean, it blew up on the internet. It just, it went viral. Like just, you know, fame killed that cobra. <laughs> fame. It fucked Miley Cyrus all up and now it killed a cobra. So, last, last anniversary we did, I was a fucking mess. I broke up and I was a mess and I could barely keep my shit together. I'm on stage and I got a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> so she was like, she was like, I want to see other people. And I was like, but you already are. <laughs> so I'm like, I got, I got needs too, you know? But I'm not, you know, it's not just... Uh, I just, I wish I could, I, I wish there was like somebody you could just like pay to cuddle with and like talk sweet stuff. Like I don't, I don't pay for sex. That's kind of, eh, it's not my thing. But I, I just, like, is there such a thing as a cuddle hooker? Is, <laughs> hey, so if you think I'm sad, I got, I got a friend who is a big whiny bitch when it comes to women. I hate to say, but he's, he's, they're sensitive and then there's like, there's too much. Like he'll call me up at like three in the morning and he goes, I don't understand women. All they ever do is talk about themselves and they want me to buy them stuff. And I'm like, dude, sounds like you got them figured out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I try to be romantic. Like the, the, my girlfriend said, you know, you, you, you do some nice stuff for me. Take me out somewhere nice. And like, you know, like memorize movie lines or something. Like, you know, like out of nowhere, just like give me a movie line, like something real romantic. So I was like, okay. So I booked us a nice dinner. And we go and we're sitting there. We have dinner and uh, the dessert comes. And I lean across the table and I lean in and I go, that'll be enough, pig. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, single, single now. <laughs> I, have you ever... <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. We'll have, can, so one of the crew come, come over and, and speak with this young lady and just get her. Normally, normally we don't like heckling, but... We'll let that one pass. That one's all right. Yeah, that one's all right. Um, now, I, have you ever bumped your asshole? Like, have you ever, like, wait, wait a minute. You know, yeah, well, I mean, so, <laughs> hey, like, okay, so I was working in the yard, and I squatted down to pick up the hose, and there was a rock that was, and I, like, bumped, I bumped my asshole. Tell me, okay, great. I'm the only one that's ever done this. I've, you've never been sitting in the car when you're a kid and you slid and your butthole hit the armrest and you're like, Aah! just me. It's only me. Yeah. I mean, I. So my first thought, yeah. My my first thought is, why would anybody put a dick in there? That's not, you know what? I'm not gonna really get off to, no! That's just not sexy. I mean, I, look. Hey, love wins, right? Love wins, right? That's amazing. Our fucking country's finally stepped out of the Middle Ages and we weren't even a fucking country yet. We hadn't even thought about running the Indians off all their land yet. So we finally will let you get married if you love somebody. How about that? Yay, America, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not one of those guys that is like, hey man, the Bible says Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I'm not, I, and honestly, okay, I, it's not my thing, I don't get it. But I, you know, fact of the matter is, I think if God didn't want people having anal sex, he wouldn't make poop shaped like a dick. It's God's will. 
So uh, I, have, I have a huge debt of gratitude because when I started this show, I bless you, um, I, I, um, <laughs> I, well, I'm a, I, got, I got manners, you know, I got, yeah. So I started this show and I didn't, I didn't have the confidence to do it, but I'd met this guy who just moved here to Austin and he was the funniest fucking guy I think I've ever met. And I was like, hey man, would you come be funny with me? And he's like, yeah, because that's what he does. He's one of those guys that you ask him something, he says, yeah. And so I got to make the first two years of this TV show, maybe more than that, but um, with, with somebody I'd like to bring out, because I owe him a huge debt of gratitude. He helped me find my feet. I got to watch him work. He's an amazing comedian. He, um, he really showed me uh, a lot about how to be on stage and a lot about how to be off stage. Um, I'd like to welcome to the stage for the first time with me here in uh, several years, uh, Mr. Tom Booker, my former co-host. Hi, everybody! Hey! Hey! Hello, everybody! Hey! Oh. I just, I just want to say congratulations on six years. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't think we'd last more than a couple months. <laughs> That's why I said yes. Uh, How are you guys doing tonight? You having fun? Congratulations, six years. That's, I haven't had a marriage that lasted that long. I've, I've been through it twice, so wow. Tom has a really wonderful theater called the Institution Theater, and uh, they teach improv, and mm -hmm. they do wonderful shows and stuff like that, so. Come by, come, it's, it's a lot of fun. We give out free condoms. <laughs> It's right across the street from, right across Ben White from the Planned Parenthood. And a lot of times going across Ben White's is too much work. Yeah. You, know, so, you yeah. stop by the Institution Theater, grab yourself a rubber. Uh, and you guys are open late. Sure. <laughs> I'll give you a ride home. <laughs> That's Ladies, right. That's right. Meet me by the Saturn. That's right. I'm, Why is that? I'm not kidding. He's, he's, he's got diarrhea. <laughs> He's actually got the new marketing uh, 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 slogan for, for Saturn, even though they're out yeah. of business. Meet me by the Saturn. <laughs> but there's, there's your, oh, your they, own one. Oh, yeah. Nothing says fuck me like a 99 Saturn. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> and a special shout out tonight, representing in the house, is Pure Bikram Yoga. Yeah. yeah. I, I got to say, come up here. Come up here, Marty. Yes, yes. With you? Come on up here. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Can you turn her mic up just a little bit? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Marty. She's one of the co-owners of Pure Bikram Yoga, and I love it. I just, today, I completed a 30-day challenge. <laughs> And you know how you go, like, I got too much stuff to do. I got to go to work. I, got, I had like an 80-hour week this week getting ready for the show. And I went in to get it in 105-degree, 50% uh, humidity for 90 minutes doing yoga. And it is... I, Thank you. Thank you. you know, I'm, I'm hers, though. I'm <laughs> the air conditioning is out in my Saturn. Uh, and as luck would have it, the seats go all the way back. Maybe you can open up a mobile studio. Pure mobile Bikram yoga, ladies. Let's steam up the windows, shall we? And you haven't seen anything till you've seen Tom in a pair of Lululemons. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. Uh -huh. I make them work. Let me tell you, that's an ass, ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, you're like, oh, can I leave now? <laughs> please, please don't touch me, gentlemen. Don't touch me. <laughs> so, no, and so, like, here's the thing. It's like, it's like meditating. It's like working out. It's like getting a massage. It's like going to the chiropractor. Everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in love with it. And the coolest thing about it, let me tell you, I can finally reach that spot between my shoulders in the shower. Right. Like, I, there was like change stuck to my back that I couldn't wash <laughs> off. <And> so, <laughs> what about yeah. 60 days? 
Yeah, go for 60. 60 days. 60 days. I'm on the 60. spot. You, Troy Dillinger, do you accept the 60-day pure beat from Yoga Challenge? What? Yep, yep I'll do it. <laughs> Sucker. So oh. <laughs> well, thanks, Marty. Everybody give Marty a big round of, yeah. of uh, applause. Thank you. Those are some high heels. I don't want you to... Oh, great. Yeah, you do. You have excellent balance. That was amazing. Yes. I should just let you float off. <laughs> um, and lastly, um, we, we, we got to thank Google Fiber Space oh, yeah. for letting us have this. Isn't this an amazing room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Big round of applause for Mr. Tom Booker. Thank you, everybody. Have a good show. Have a good show. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Have a good night, everybody. You guys, you guys want to see a little more of Tom a little bit later? Mentally, I'm stronger for it, and I definitely have more patience. It kicked my. joys of doing this show is that I get to introduce talent to people who love Austin and love Austin music. That means so much to me because you know how you've heard about music and somebody makes it big and then you find out that you could have seen them on a Tuesday night for two dollars somewhere <laughs> and I know you can't go out every night of the week but you know what's going on every night of the week? Amazing shit. The stuff that you're, yeah, the stuff that you're going to be listening to next year or two years from now or five or ten years from now, it's going on tonight in town. Austin. It's in this room. Um, so one of the gifts of getting to do this is I get to introduce you guys to wonderful talent, wonderful musicians. One of those is my favorite singer-songwriter in town. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please welcome Austin's next big, big star, star, Ashley Monocle.
mentally I'm stronger for it, and I definitely have more patience. It kicked my. to introduce our next comedian, mostly because I get to give him a hard time because he's leaving town. He's leaving town. Why? Because he's too big for this town. No, he, he really is. He's an amazing comedian. I love him. And I always got to fuck with him because he, he still hasn't won Funniest Person in Austin. That's why he's going to leave. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please give a big round of applause for the very last Austin performance of Mr. Ryan County. <clears throat> To you, sir. Hey, bless your heart. <laughs> Hoping for no audio, right? <laughs> yeah. Good luck, brother. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is this uh, very uncomfortable? I kind of have a uh, routine with. Music bringing me up. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of like a uh, Academy Award kind of song. And it go, it's seven minutes long. So if you guys could just pretend like you hear. Okay, because I, I, got, uh, I got about six mo more minutes to go, so. <laughs> actually, actually, um, could y'all just do that with, for me? Y'all, y'all, yeah, see, he's got it. Na, 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 na. But also clap and cheer at the same time. All right. Are we all, can we all do that? I, you guys in the back, you sound like cowards. You're not doing it. All right, let's take it from the top. Let me go, uh, can I get re-introed or? Troy left. He's gone. <laughs> All right, my mark's way over there, so one more time. I know all. all uh, you spelled my name wrong. It's with a capital R and a capital C. It's kind of rude. <laughs> so. No music, no capitalization. Well, uh, you, gotta, you spend all your c capital money on an actual replication of the capital? <laughs> all right, Troy. So, uh... Can I be honest with you guys? I feel like I can be honest with you. Guys and, and girls, I gotta, it's 2015, we gotta acknowledge you now. 
Okay. Uh, that's, that's how I deal with uh, human interactions. <laughs> All right, even on and off, sta off stage, too. People are like, hey, sir, you got to pay for that gas. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> She said I'm not from Austin. I actually am not from Austin. I'm from Nebraska, believe it or not. That was very ambiguous. Was that a woo or a boo? <laughs> Woo-boo! Woo! <laughs> Are you from Nebraska? Okay. Y'all are weird. Y'all also means you all. I found that out once I moved here. I thought it was some, everybody saying it was just having a stroke. I'm, I'm going to be honest, honest. I, uh, it's, it's kind, kind of embarrassing, embarrassing but I think you figured it out. I, I don't do stand-up comedy. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a professional actor, and I, professional as in I graduated from Harvard with a theater and a theater degree. Uh, I figured I want you guys to get your money's worth and you were like expecting stand-up, but I can't deliver that. So I'm going to give you some Harvard-style acting and then we'll get on with my comedy script and we can start the show. Uh, so first, uh, so my first request uh, would be absolute silence from the couch. I know you guys are comfortable, but... All right, so I'm going to do, and I've been a professional actor for 17 years. Um, I've uh, been a semi-professional before that for about 10 years. And before that, I was studying for six years. I'm 48 years old. <laughs> All right, so first acting. Uh, let me do, I'll do, an, uh, I'll do an emotion here. And for, uh, also, I'd like to say this isn't going to be your garbage style acting, Brown University style acting. Okay? This is going to be Harvard University level acting. Harvard University located in Connecticut. So, <laughs> you can go home and tell your kids you saw uh, the main character from the hit Netflix original series. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's see, um, uh, let's see, um, Miss right there, could you give me an emotion and then I'll do acting for that emotion? Angst. Angst? Okay, doesn't have to be one you're feeling, but. <laughs> All right, I'll do, uh, I'll do angst. So, uh, so I grew up in Nebraska, like I said, and I'm building a character. And this summer, my father goes, hey, I'm going to take you down to the train tracks and teach you how to jump on and off the train. So uh, this marked the first time that me and my brother got erections. And uh, <laughs> it's just a side note to this story. It was exciting, is what I'm saying. Uh, so my dad takes us down to the woods, to the train tracks, and... Uh, the train starts coming, and me and my brother are like, this is great. This is the greatest time of my life. Uh, the train goes, half the train goes by, and my dad's just sitting there like, you know, ready to jump. And then it gets close to the end, and me and my brother are like, is this keep cutting out? Because yeah. I've just said some real prolific <laughs> stuff every time it cuts out. So me, me and my brother, we're watching my father go, and we're like, okay, the train's almost done. Like, maybe he's just going to show us this time, or maybe my father's a coward. Uh, <laughs> he's just going to show us this time, and then we get to jump on it next time. Uh, so sure enough, the caboose of the train, that's the end of the train, <laughs> comes, and uh, my dad, run, he runs and jumps on it, and then he goes about 60 yards. And me and my brother are just watching, and then he goes like another 10 yards after that. And me and my brother are like, all right, what's going on? And then he does like this, my dad does this weird movement. So we're like really focused because we want to figure out the dismount. 
we don't want to break our little five and seven year old bones. So, uh, <laughs> so the, the movement that my father did was he just kind of went, uh, <laughs> my dad just kind of went like, And, and he, uh, t he did, I don't know why you're applauding, he did that into the distance until he was just a dot and I, ne I never saw my father again. Okay. Um, they said I got. They said I got 45 more minutes. <laughs> so let's do a. Um, sir, and I could barely hear you because uh, I'm way up, way over here, and I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, so if you could just yell it, um, let's do, so just like yell it, top of your lungs, sir, in the glasses right behind, yeah, we just made eye contact. Um, <laughs> if you could give me, and just again, yell it at the top of your lungs, uh, not an emotion this time, let's do, if you could just ye give me, yell out your favorite racial slur. <laughs> oh, whoa! That was a test. And the hesitation was a fail. You, that means you have a list of them that you had to decide which one was your favorite. I can't do a show like this. Thank you guys. Mentally, I'm stronger for it, and I definitely have more patience. It kicked my.
Thank you. Man, what a great audience. This is my favorite audience so far. Mentally, I'm stronger for it, and I definitely have more patience. It kicked my. She's worried about that dress. Yeah. She's but we have we have a pact. If she falls out, then both Tom and I fall out of our pants. It's just a sympathetic thing. Sad part is, I've been out all night. No one said a thing. <laughs> Alright, who wants to win some shit? Who's ready to win some shit? I wanna win some shit. Alright, excellent. One of you is going to win a hundred grand tonight. How's that sound? Yee! I'd get a new car. <laughs> Tom would buy a fleet of Saturns. Oh. Well, how are you guys ready for the first game? Yes, we are. I'm looking for somebody for actually I need a couple of people who can draw. Can anybody here draw? Have you got a good hand? You can draw? Some in the back. Yes. You can draw. And I saw you in the pink dress and you in the white. Come on, come on up here and bring Yay, a partner. Give a hand. Bring a partner with bring you. Bring a partner. It'd be great. Hi, what's your name? Gwen. Excellent, everybody say hi to Gwen. Hi, Gwen! Hey. Everybody scooch over here, everybody scooch over here. Okay, and what is your name? Cindy. Everybody say hi to Cindy. Hi, Cindy! Hi, Excellent. Cindy. And what is your name? Angelica. Angelica, everybody say hi to Angelica. Hi, Angelica! Hi, Angelica. What is your name? Joelle. Joelle, everybody say hi to Joelle. Hi, Joelle. Excellent. Hi, Joelle. And what is your name? Carissa. Hey, everybody. Hi, Carissa. Hi, Carissa's boobs. <laughs> I don't wear a bra. They're not usually, you usually don't need one when they're this size. Well, we've got a special game for you. Since you, you can draw and you can draw, yeah. Excellent. Well, remember that time you thought a dream catcher might, uh, right over your butt crack would be a great idea, like a tattoo of a dream catcher? Mm -hmm. But sure then your do. asshole friends started calling it a cream catcher. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's why your friends suck. Your friends suck. Or that time you got the Chinese symbol that you thought said tranquility and what it really says is I make terrible life choices. <laughs> yeah, well, so who can you really trust? Besides uh, tonight's game sponsor, uh, Atomic Tattoo. Woo. Oh. With several locations around Austin. They can give you trustworthy tattoos, piercings, and even take off that shitty old tattoo you got in a blackout. 
Remember the one of Elmer Fudd with the shotgun facing at your asshole and it says, come out of there, you wascally wabbit? <laughs> but you can probably trust your friend here, right? Yeah, well, your friend's got two minutes to create the best tattoo in this whole room. Oh. You'll get to, you'll win a hundred dollars to spend an atomic tattoo. You can Woo! split it between you. You can get a, you could get a tattoo that starts on one of you and ends on the other. It'd be great. If you need suggestions, there's the good old skull and crossbones. I made that fucking mistake. Um, there's an eagle, a sacred heart, a waving flag with the eagle clutching arrows and a dick. I, it's up to you. It's really, I don't, be creative is what I'm saying. This is a little game that we fondly like to call Tattoo Youps. Well, where are you gonna get your tattoo, Cindy? <laughs> you could go stomach, you could go uh, ankle, you could go, <laughs> of course, the ni nice people are offering boobs. Like, that was very kind of them. And, um, and where, uh, Joel, where are you gonna get yours? Um, I suppose in the back of my bald ass head. Excellent, yeah. yes! Oh. Yay, that's a guess. Joel is in it to win it! He is in it to win it! Uh, the lovely Carissa here has some colored Sharpies for you. As an audience, here's the fun that you get to have. You can yell shit at them if you want and just make it harder for them. And <laughs> just try to... Cause, cause. <laughs> All right, you've got two minutes here. You got two minutes. Yeah, get, you got to get started here. We will, because, because we're running late, we will, uh, at two minutes, if you have an incomplete tattoo, that will be your entry for the competition. Just saying. Tom, why don't you give us a little commentary here? Let us know how oh, this sure. is coming uh, here. Uh, we've got a, oh, we're, we're in a fantasy land on the uh, back of his head. Uh, there is a, it, well, it's a mushroom, and are those balls? <laughs> okay, so, so it's the, she went with the, the cliche, <laughs> mushroom and balls. Yes, they are. All right, ladies, we got about 30 seconds left. We got about 30 seconds go. left oh, here. this looks. Tom's going to tell you about what's going on oh, over here. now, is, is that your father? <laughs> oh, it's her husband. Do you not like her husband? <laughs> but you know, what's the worst thing you can see when you're going to see a tattoo in that position? It's wait, a guy looking back at you. <laughs> wait, hold on. Cindy, Cindy just had a suggestion. Cindy, what did you want to put on? Oh, never mind. <laughs> do we have, do we have, we're completed. All I, right, I give him a big round done. of applause. We're gonna let you guys judge what the best tattoo is and what the worst tattoo is. So, contestant number one, looky there. Hold that, hold that there for camera. That's Cindy's for a husband. Second. That is Cindy's That's husband. That's Cindy's, by the way, go ahead, stand up, Mike. Go. There he is. <laughs> That's good, that is, yes, good job. All right, and then we got contestant number two here. Joel, turn around and show them what we got here. This is a... <laughs> it, it's a... It's a magic mushroom, and it's got balls on it yeah. as well. It's All right, so we're gonna vote here. Everybody, your vote for contestant number one. Your vote for contestant number two. Excellent. Well, here's the interesting thing about tonight's game. They can't do anything with that over at Atomic Tattoo, but they're great at cover-ups. So, you've got the good tattoo and you lose, Joel. The bad tattoo is the winner, Cindy. Yeah. See, so... Cindy has a bad tattoo, and she needs to go buy an Atomic Tattoo and get it covered up. You're gonna win 50 bucks at Atomic Tattoo. You're gonna win 100 bucks at Tattoo. And you're gonna win the other 50 bucks. All right, thanks, give them a big round of applause. Give them a big round of applause.
And now we have to decide who's going to win a hundred grand, don't we? Yes, Who is going to win a hundred grand? That's right. Oh, Robert's Robert's claiming. I'm, I'm, Hundred grand, hundred grand. Who do you guys think should win a hundred grand tonight? Just yell out their name, whoever you think should win. <laughs> I like that person to win. Well, here's the great thing. I brought enough for everybody. Oh, it's a candy bar. Yay. Oh. Oops, yeah, here you go. Here you go. Oh no, oh no, I've got another half million in this pocket. Oh, here we go. It's a fun size, it's a fun size. And you spent your rent money to come out tonight too, didn't you? There we got everybody, oh, that was nice. All right, you wanted Carissa to have 100 yeah. grand too. So she gets, and you get 100, who said that? Who was that? You said, you get 100 grand because you're generous. All right. Everybody, please give it up for Mr. Tom Booker. For Miss, for Carissa McAtee. And to all of our contestants in that effing game show. All right, thank you very much. We have a big treat for you. You guys ready to end the evening with some nudity? Okay, all right. I've been doing yoga. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Gentress Helena Back.
to say thanks to all of y'all for letting me do this. And, um, and every year it gets bigger and more fun. And, and thank you, because this coming year, number seven, is going to be the biggest ever. Thanks to all of y'all. And good night. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, while I was talking, I was talking about Google Fiber, and I forgot to thank our sponsors. Um, lastly, uh, get a flyer, go look at the Facebook invite, go look at our website, and go look at their businesses, because when you do business with them, it shows them you support what we do here. And it shows them that you're looking and tell friends about them, because that's what makes Austin special. Most of us move here from somebody, somewhere else. We hang out together. We eat together. We drink together. We party together. We have fun. And that's what makes Austin the best place in the whole world. Thanks, y'all. Good night. <laughs>